the Lenovo ThinkPad X13s, a ThinkPad that runs on a mobile processor. Let's see what's really good. Yes, yes, people, what's good? It's Man Light Jamal out here with the X13S, a laptop that's literally running on Snapdragon, fam. Like, it's the Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3. Now, as far as I'm aware, that was the strongest and fastest Snapdragon processor until literally last week where Qualcomm released their brand new 2023 Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Two. So we're basically at the top of the leaderboard in terms of Snapdragon performance, but still quite a way under what you would normally get on an AMD chip or an Intel chip. Now, just to give you a brief little breakdown of the specs as well, we got 16 gigabytes of RAM there, 256 gigabytes of storage, a 13.3 inch, 1920 by 1200 IPS screen, anti-glare ting, fingerprint reader, backlit keyboard, Wi-Fi 6E, all that ting there. Now, from what I'm seeing on the specs so far, they're a bit mid-tier if you ask me. Definitely not top of the range. For me, I'm even thinking that this is gonna be limited to literally game streaming <laughs> only, no native gaming whatsoever, and Microsoft Office tasks. Like, that's it as far as I can see with this laptop. But that Snapdragon processor, because it's sipping power so slowly, should be a battery champion fam that should not run out of battery this year you understand anyway let's get it set up and see what's really good now in terms of look and design obviously the thing is giving business premium settings in it fam you got the little red ibm thinkpad nub in the middles that you can use as a mouse or whatever that thing is used for on the left hand side you got two usb 3.2 gen 2 ports so that's 10 gigabits per second no thunderbolt unfortunately so we're not going to be able to connect a external gpu to this and try that combo out with the snapdragon processor maybe next time though on the right hand side we've got 3.5 millimeter a headphone jack you got a little sim card tray sutton going on there and kensington lock in it now as i said before the keyboard itself is backlit so obviously you can see it in whatever conditions you're in and there's two levels of backlight that you can set as well just by pressing the function and the space bar so we love to see that too keys feel decently clicky i i like them obviously it's not mechanical but as far as laptop keys go it feels kind of nice. Even the touchpad itself for doing the multitasking gestures, swiping up, down, left and right, it feels calm fam. I'm not too sure about the clicky buttons being above the mouse pad. I'm assuming that's what they do in ThinkPads, but it just feels weird to me. Looks calm though, and at least you've got a little middle click button there, which is what you don't get on a lot of other laptops as well. You've got a fingerprint reader there, which seems to be doing its thing, as well as the face camera thing, which can unlock the laptop when you're sitting in front of it and lock the laptop as soon as it detects that you've moved away. But there don't seem to be no privacy button for the web camera so them ones where you're in the company and the opposition is just stealing your content through your webcam you're gonna have to put a little little piece of i don't know blue tack or something on there to block people spying on you in it you know them ways there conspiracy thing and that the screen is 13.3 inches it's 1920 by 1200 so really only a little bit over 1080p 1080p is calm for me it's calm to be doing your little bit of word processing a little bit of excel anything that's really going on in an internet browser at this size of the screen as well it looks quite decent. I'm not mad at the pixels or the clarity of the screen itself. Brightness gets there as well. You can use it outside. Speakers are small and tinny and just, yeah, they're just there in it, fam. It's one of them ones, I guess, if you're doing Zoom, Microsoft Teams, you can hear what people them are saying, but it really ain't that exciting. You get me? Wi-Fi connectivity seems really good though. You got the Wi-Fi 6 eating there. So, you know, no matter if you're far away from the router, you do get pretty decent download speeds and thing like that. And I have to say, as far as using it on the internet, Microsoft Office online suites, um, using Microsoft Office offline, 
um, any kind of word processing, PDF stuff. It's been tearing through it fam, even with that little Snapdragon processor and the battery has barely been zapped at all fam. This thing must literally be sipping the processor juice elegantly, you understand? And now to test out something this laptop was not designed for whatsoever, the gameplay performance, but more so because it's running that Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3. Now I know Snapdragon processors are really good at gaming when it comes to Android phones, like they really be pushing more than 1080p in certain cases. And I'm glad to see that for small, small games, like a little bit of Cult of the Lamb, it's generally pushing the frames per second, even in medium settings. I'm running a little bit of dirt free here now. We're at 1200p fam, 60 frames per second plus medium settings. And again, we are getting that full frame rate. No dropped frames whatsoever. This is definitely a more than playable experience. And I can't lie, I'm proud. <laughs> I feel like a proud father of this little Snapdragon processor playing games native on a system like this you know what? I'm gonna wrap this up guys I'm gonna wrap this up I'm actually kind of impressed with the processor inside this laptop like business to business enterprise laptop aside the snapdragon processor when I looked at the benchmarks it wasn't looking too good compared to the AMD and Intel competition however now that I've downloaded steam on it I've downloaded a couple games I'm not mad at the performance, like certain games it can run at 1200p, certain games it can run. It's given performance where performance is needed. The only thing you gotta watch out for is the fact that because it's an ARM processor and not a 64-bit processor, certain programs are not compatible in it. Certain programs you can download, you can install them, you might even be able to open the program, but the program will never work properly as it's supposed to so your mileage may vary depending on what programs you use on a daily basis anything you're downloading from the windows store however that will work flawlessly no matter what's going on yet that will just work it's only you know certain um programs like i tried to download filmora 12 filmora 12 my video editor program and yeah it just wasn't having it from that but then some games just work straight away they're also 64-bit programs so yeah it is what it is isn't it decent laptop though decent 